Thanks for joining us for another edition of National Focus. I'm Tasia Flosak. Coming up, new phase of government's housing revolution expected soon, increase in after-sunset flights recorded at the Melville Hall Airport, and over 40 million euros have been earmarked for Dominica through the EDF. Stay tuned for these and other stories after this. The black sitatuka fungus can survive on banana and plantain leaves even after they have been cut from the tree. Farmers and hucksters are encouraged to use alternate cushioning material when moving produce from farm to the market. Do not use banana and plantain leaves as cushioning. It is against the law to move banana and plantain trash from the field. Obey the law and stop the spread of black sitatuka today. Thanks for staying with us. Work will commence shortly on the rehabilitation of the Bois Diable to White River Road. This was confirmed by Minister for Public Works, Energy and Ports, Honorable Raben Blackmore. Minister Blackmore told a press conference last Friday that work on this road project is expected to commence later this year. We shall see, um, God's willing, by July, August this year, the actual commencement of work on that leg, under the EUB envelope facility and um, where we shall be addressing a number of vulnerable areas. And the Odilis area in itself is a place that's very prone to, to landslide and erosion. Will be dealt with in, in, in that project. And already that in, in due course, within a week or so, we shall have been having the submission of the contractors of the bids. That is what we're, we're talking about. Now, also from Round about Pocasset going back into Cassibus, Pedisufra, the Car Reserve, under the World Bank Initiative. Uh, over $6 million, million dollars shall be spent to improve that road network. The minister also announced plans for the continuation of sidewalks from Bath Estate as well as cliff stabilization. As we traverse, leaving Bath Estate, getting, in, getting in into the inter intersection from um, St. Roma into Bath Estate Road there. That cliff there is very dangerous. And you only have you only you only have one entry and one exit area in the Rosa Valley. We have been able to get a concessionary loan from the Caribbean Development Bank to the tune of six point five million dollars US to stabilize that, that, that cliff and to extend the sidewalk from Bath Estate all the way back into where we know we're now building is no longer the Fly City area. Lower down close to the community high school area. In other news, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt has announced plans for a new phase of the Housing Revolution program. The Dominica leader told DLP supporters last Monday that he is proud of the gains made in government's housing program, which has touched the lives of thousands of nationals. He explained that the new phase will include the construction of 1,500 houses throughout the country. Very shortly, we shall launch another installment of the highly favored housing revolution. This time around, this time around, we shall set our sights on 1,500 houses and housing solutions distributed across the 21 constituencies. We shall build 1,500 new homes for Dominicans. We do not wish to break up families and communities, so we shall bring housing developments and solutions to every single constituency in Dominica. Construction of these varied units shall commence in the month of June 2014. We have already identified and have in hand a significant portion of the funds that we require to start and sustain this program. Energy Minister Honorable Rayburn Blackmore has assured residents of the Rosa Valley that government has adopted all the best practices as it advances with the geothermal project. The minister was addressing a press conference last Friday amid some concerns about the multi-million dollar project. We have been able to, to dispel what has been said by Mr. Afferton Martin and a bunch of political activists. Um, it appears that they are, in fact, continuing to provide misinformation um, to the public 
for the express purpose of derailing a very important project, which is to get towards advancing the quality of life of the people of Dominica, including the people in the Rosa Valley. I'm confident that the people of the Rosa Valley and Dominica on the whole will see Mr. African Martin and his crew for what they actually are. Let me just again give the people of Dominico, more specifically the people of the Rosa Valley, catchment area, the comfort that their government will continue to follow, follow the best practices involved in the geothermal industry. As we have said before, thus far, we have been able to contract the best talent in the world um, in, in terms of persons having you know, a grasp of the sciences involved in geothermal development. And I think we have to be judged on our, what we have been able to do thus far. We have been able to go through all the processes involved with no incident or accident. And um, we have been able to prove that it's not scientifically possible. I'm using the method and the tools that we are using currently to drill close to the boiling lake or under the boiling lake or valley of the desolation or more than what. It's just totally scientifically impossible. And um, the, 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 the drilling rig we are, we are using doesn't have the capacity to drill that far. Over $54 million has been spent thus far on the exploration of Dominica's geothermal energy potential. Scientific tests are expected to be conducted by June this year. Meantime, the Energy Minister confirmed assessments have been conducted at every stage of the project to determine the possible impact on the environment. We have done the EIU um, for all the levels of the project. There was an there was an EIA done for the um, test, test wells. There was one done which was posted done as early as October 2013. Um, prior to the, to, the, to the commencement of the drilling of the, of the production and reinjection well. And there will be a, an EIA done even for the construction of the plant. So every aspect of that development is, 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 is being executed by way of precision. As government moves from exploration to the development of the resource, the minister has announced plans to establish a geothermal development unit which will include key competencies in terms of human resource capacity. We're talking about reservoir experts and, and it's key um, to that, to that um, unit will be uh, uh, public relations specialists because we believe the this, this, uh, bringing out the information to the public and getting the community on board is, is critical. Also, we're going to have uh, somebody who, is, who, spe who specializes in community development, ensuring that the, the communities um, within, within, within the, the Rosa Valley catchment uh, are actually involved in the process and that the people's, people's life, way of life can be advanced. The minister says, Government's geothermal project will yield positive results for Dominican nationals. We have an opportunity to make Dominica what it ought to be, to be a beacon of hope for our people. And we, we, it doesn't mean that we have to remain that way. And of course, we have pledged in our, our party manifesto that to make Dominica an energy independent country and where we can actually see uh, a drop, actual drop, in the cost of energy, we can provide the people of Dominic with a more reliable energy source and cleaner. And um, we believe, of course, based on all the sciences we have done and the research that we have done, that geothermal provide us that op opportunity. And in other news, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt says development projects highlighted in his May 5th address in St. Joseph will mean more employment opportunities for nationals. The Dominica leader says employment for Dominicans is a key aspect of discussions with potential partners, as government forges ahead with its development plans, which will include the enhancement of the capital city. We have told the engineering firm undertaking improvements to Rosewood and Portsmouth that they can bring a few specialized skills. 
but the bulk of the workforce on those projects shall be small contractors and Dominican workers. I have told them clearly, we have an able and educated workforce in Dominica. Bring your vision, bring your plan, show us how to do the, what, that which needs to be done and Dominican workers shall set about to make it happen. All we need is the technological guidance and we will do the work by ourselves, for ourselves. No less than 80% of the workforce on all projects I have identified here this evening, including the international airport, shall be Dominicans. For I have made it clear to all and sundry that I need work for my people in Dominica. Arrivals after sunset at the Melville Hall Airport have improved by over 40%. That's according to Minister for Ports, Honorable Rayburn Blackmore. Mr. Blackmore told reporters last Friday that the introduction of night landing, which had initially been greeted with skepticism, has yielded significant progress. When we look at 2012 and 2013, and uh, from a comparative standpoint, we, we, we recorded something like 47% increase in arrivals um, after sunset. And, and that, is, that, that, isn't, that is significant. So you're talking about um, close to uh, a, a thousand um, flights after sunset coming into, coming into Dominica. For example, in 2013, we had 924 flights coming in at night, as, as opposed to 652 in 2012. That is significant. We also saw an improvement in 2013 in terms of persons leaving Dominica at night after sunset, an improve, improvement by 17%. Also this week, the Maho Constituency Labour Youth Organization, led by Parliamentary Representative Honorable Rayburn Blackmore, continued its annual tradition with a Mother's Day lunch this past Sunday. Scores of mothers were treated to a few hours away from their own kitchens and some social interaction at the Old Mill Cultural Centre, where they were treated like royalty by their parliamentary representative. Honorable Blackmore mingled with the mothers at the event, which has come to be anticipated at this time every year. First of all, I'm happy that you came because normally on a day like that you stay at your home and of course you are treated by your loved ones. The fact that you came here today demonstrates your appreciation for your, for your parent. Because you can stay at your home and cook much better food than, than you're getting today, isn't that so? And um, so it's a nice mix of persons from the constituency. Honorable Blackmore at that time deliberated in advance on plans for the next Mother's Day lunch in 2015 and Father's Day lunch next month. Leandro Julian is chairperson of the Maho Labor Youth Organization. Honorable Raven Blackmore does that every year. Uh, last year we did it and it was successful. This year again we have it done. The mothers are entertained at the Old Mill Cultural Center. Uh, they have been served with lunches and also there was a prize giving ceremony where we had two mothers winning their self gifts on Mother's Day. So again, this has been a presentation from the Honorable Raven Blackmore and the Maho Labor Youth Organization on Mother's Day to all the mothers of the Maho constituency. Over 40 million euros have been promised to Dominica for the 11th disbursement of the European Development Fund, EDF. The revelation was made on Friday when EU countries observed Europe Day on May 9, 2014. According to Carlin Roberts, National Authorizing Officer of the European Development Fund, the EDF, most of that sum, will be channeled to the island's pursuit of energy independence through the geothermal project. However, several other projects will be undertaken. Roberts sat down with GIS News to discuss the impact of the European Union on Dominica's national development. Roberts outlined that the relationship is strong despite financial challenges globally. Meanwhile, the National Authorizing Officer for the European Development Fund listed several projects accomplished through the EU Dominica partnership. We also have what we call a technical cooperation facility where the EU provides technical assistance and training opportunities to the government. 
So under there, we've provided support to the development of the tourism master plan, the tourism policy, the corporate strategy and action plan of the Discover Dominica Authority. Assistance has been also given in terms of the national energy policy and the sustainable energy plan for the government of Dominica. We, um, support has also been provided to the Ministry of Finance as well as the staff of the NEO's office in terms of training opportunities in the field of public finance management, which are one of the key areas that the EU is supporting, especially through the General Budget Support Program. We also have our 10th EDF General Budget Support Program, where we've targeted sectors such as tourism, health, water, and geothermal energy. So under that program, for instance, in tourism, we focus on community tourism, as well as training, enhancing the capacity locally. European support to Dominica has spanned several sectors. Roberts listed others. In terms of health, we have what we call our Reduction in Infant Mortality Project. We've provided assistance to the Ministry of Health in that regard. In terms of water, again, in trying to achieve the Millennium Development Goals, we've um, provided assistance for the Benz and uh, Bells, Fakers, water supply systems. Geothermal energy, we're targeting again training, as well as the development of the Geothermal Resource Development Bill, going through from Cabinet to Parliament. I chose peace because of the things that happen around the world and here in Dominica. You know, just a small country as we are, we are so, we are divided, you know, and only through peace I see that we could come together and, and have a, a, more, a, more success, a much more successful country. And it is on that premise that Gareth Chaplis of Dodan represents Dominica in the Global Inspirational Voices competition. With a four-minute video submission, Gareth made his application to participate in the World Network of Young Leaders and Entrepreneurs Workshop in Finland this September. This program of the World Network of Young Leaders is meant to highlight the inspirational energy of youth worldwide. Close to 100 inspirational videos have been submitted so far from countries all over the world. Gareth's platform is peace. Dominica, I am Gareth Chaplis, you know, from the lovely village of Dodan. And me, by myself, can't really bring forth that peaceful Dominica that we are so, we are, we are so eager for. But I started it. I want to continue it with your help, with your encouragement and support, you know, and living in a peaceful Dominica, a beautiful nature isle, we will be successful in all aspects. And I saw that, you know, getting involved in this can motivate the young people in the, in the Caribbean, in Dominica specifically, to push themselves into um, engaging in something positive and also maybe trying to organize their own business and enhance their, their leadership role. So that is the reason why I got involved because I see that being, through me, a lot of things can happen in the, with the young people of Dominica. Also to bring out my country or further, um, how do you say that? Um, promote Dominica, yes, out there. The 23-year-old is optimistic that his participation in the international competition is the beginning of great things. I would like you to just take a minute and, and, and just meditate on, on where this could lead us as a, as a country and as a people. And also see the, the step that the youths are taking. Because, you know, a lot of times we talk about the young people being being um, rude and starting up all sorts of, of, of um, violence. But here is an opportunity to see something greater beyond that, 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 that concept that we have on young people in Dominica. Like through me, you know, I believe that something great is going to happen through this. 
So I just want you guys to give me your support. With about a week before the close of competition, Gareth is hoping to spread his message of peace to first his island. He is hoping that by May 19th, his YouTube video will reach at least 10,000 views. You can go on YouTube and check it on, on just type in W-Y-N-L-E, you know, or Gareth Shapley's W-Y-N-L-E, or Global Inspirational Voices, you know, and then you'll get that video. I want you to, I need your support. I need your, your views. I need your likes. I need your honest comments, you know, to, to help me to reach to Finland in that workshop so I could promote Dominica, promote us as a youth in Dominica and let the people know that we, are, we, we, are, we stand for positivity and we, um, we're breaking down all negativities. If selected, he will become the first representative of Dominica to the World Youth Network of Young Leaders and Entrepreneurs. Winners will receive the title of National Youth Pioneers as well as the Award for Global Inspirational Voice Award during the International Workshop 2014 in Finland. Here's an excerpt of Gareth's submission. Growing up as a young boy, being exposed to the world, I've seen all sorts of violent acts. Child abuse, domestic violence, murder, gang, rape, even drug dealers and drug pushers, they all have a part to play in the destructions of lives. So what does peace mean to you? Peace is tranquility. Peace is security. Peace is companionship. Peace is serenity. If, if calm, what is peace? Peace is Peace starts with respect for each other. Peace is harmony. So yes, this is more than the absence of war. And it's not just getting rid of violence. As President Ronald Reagan said, this is not the absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. View, like and comment on YouTube to support Gareth Chaplis in the Global Inspirational Voices competition. And that's the English segment of the news. Mark for St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moi c'est Mark for St. Louis. Premièrement, ministre agriculture a chain festival agriculture c'est même cela. Ministre agriculture honorable Matthew Walter Delivery at the West Judea put it officially declared with festival. Mr. Harold Gis, permanent secretary and minister of agriculture. Uh, one mile Portsmouth, nous allons faire un grand uh, exhibition. Et bien, exhibition, ça, nous, nous allons demonstrate pour tout le monde dominique qui est agriculteur dominique, il est vivant, avec, il a produit, avec, il y a un lot différent. Uh, plants have a different um, uh, market uh, products. For moon vini gardi, for moon vini educate, for some family call vini, no kind of it is a family call la, for vini gardi, kisa, um, grandmama yo, grand grandmama yo, papa yo manji, check for se put it different, can't imagine sa, kifa no niyon, low moon kika vive. À Salani, Dominique. Quand ça, puis on vient venir visiter, puis on vient regarder, puis on vient apprendre, puis on vient demander direction, puis on vient regarder qui ça qui a fait. Elle fait ça faire agricole, elle fait la fourrure en Dominique. Un autre nouvel Dominique expecté pour bénéficier plus de 40 millions d'euros hors European Development Fund. Parole ça la sorte de chef European Union à Dominique, Colin Roberts. Selon Madame Roberts. Il y a un gros tranche, l'agence de a allé financer le projet géothémique et puis Banala a allé pour d'autres projets. Roberts mentionnait le projet de l'eau, Chimé en parmi d'autres qui a tapé l'attention de l'European Union. Il y a aussi fait parole que Dominique a joué en bonne relation et puis EU, même si la globalisation a existé. Roberts a aussi fait parole que plusieurs d'autres secteurs ont bénéficié en bas de la relation de la. Il y a aussi fait parole que la relation de la bien solide. Et puis bien positive. En notre nouvelle, Bibliothèque Dominique a célébré Simen Bibliothèque et puis on l'a activité. C'est vraiment une pour ouvrir l'activité là pour en place je dis. 
mon nek gatin position kon ministère éducation on le bloqué le daro officiellement déclaré si men activité la ouvert ça c'est en en temps pour ces moun pour 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 awareness sur sur li et ben là en library rose donc il y a tout le monde pour venir mon library là en Gombe library en Marigot library là en Gontans pour nous aller pour ce place ça là pour taper en livre et pour pour li on nous a dit hors d'un parents pour repousser les enfants et ben tout tout les enfants l'école il y en a pour bien aware c'est si on lit plus on lit c'est 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 éducation qui a qui a qui a venu en en lieu donc nous nous dit tout le monde si même ça là pour pour être pour être pour pour un magazine en en newspaper en aller aller internet là et puis lit et puis finalement, le gouvernement Dominique fait contribution plus que 100 avec 70 000 dollars pour que le village finit le travail à ses pleines fils. Et puis les résidents, la communauté sont bien satisfaits et puis le projet là. Dernier l'argent là qui est aussi voué, les quatrième fois, c'est pour travailler l'excavation, l'occasion là même et puis pour planter les herbes. Facilité ça là qu'a expecté pour finir le grand merci à cette monde, la communauté là, qui était employé à Soui. En même temps aussi, en nouvel sport, le gazon l'oublier tapé 100 000 dollars l'argent non. Pendant que le parlement honorable Ambrose George fait présentation à l'agent Salam pour le chairperson de la Consulat Rosemont Lebrun qui a reçu l'argent là à 50 villages de Consulat. Lebrun fait parole que l'agent Salam est bien dépensé pour le développement de la communauté Salam. Messieurs, Mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nos nouvelles en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Marc Fosson Salos. Au revoir. Today's tip of the day is about one great benefit of eating avocado. Stay tuned. In studio discussions, insight, Creole news, road to the throne, Calypso, Creole festival, carnival, and lots more local programming. See it all on the Government Information Service, your first for local news. Avocado is a pear-shaped fruit known for its miraculous health and beauty benefits all over the world. Avocados are filled with vitamin A, which helps purging off any dead skin cells. The glutamine amino acid present in avocados cleanses your skin and offers it enough protection against harsh environmental factors. The antioxidants in avocados detoxify your body, removing all toxins that tend to lead your skin to age prematurely. It also helps by eliminating the wrinkles, giving your skin a youthful glow. They are rich in monosaturated fat and vitamin E, both of which promote healthy skin. Try them on salads and sanditries and even on smoothies. For dry skin, try to incorporate more avocados into your diet. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Friend us on our Facebook page and be sure to like our GIS Dominica fan page. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire GIS news production team, I'm Tasia Flosak. Thanks for watching.